Jocelyn Bendig with Arizona Prime Real Estate, and today we're here with Keith, the owner of Granite Mountain Home Inspections. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. Good. So tell me a little bit about yourself and your company and why you do what you do. Uh, well, again, Keith North with Granite Mountain Home Inspections. I am a, a home inspector in Prescott. I've been here for two and a half years, and um, I got into the home ins uh, doing home inspections uh, from a construction background. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I uh, I have extensive knowledge in uh, in the construction trades uh, for about thirty years. Um, I've done everything from plumbing to framing houses, installing windows and doors. Uh, I spent eight years in the HVAC industry, and um, the reason I got into it first and foremost is I, I like houses and building, uh, but. For doing contracting work over 30 years, um, I had some medical issues with my neck, and the the work I was doing was not conducive to uh, to the injury I had on my neck. So I uh, tried to focus on what what I could do with the uh, the skills and knowledge I had, and, or I have, and um, I've, I've done contracting, and I really didn't want to do that again for various reasons. So, uh, and I like dealing with people. I like helping people a lot. So um, I looked into to home inspections and wasn't too, too difficult for me to, uh, to uh, you know, do the education and the testing since I, I've been doing it for 30 years. So um, I, I became a home inspector. Yeah, it sounds like you have a really great foundation for general home inspections, having pretty much done each different part of HVAC, yeah, that, that's correct. Um, I I've, I've, I've have hands-on experience in most all facets and areas of, of the construction uh, construction or the building trades from foundation all the way up to the roofing. So as far as home inspections go, um, you know I I I I, uh, I see it from a hands-on perspective and not from a so-called book perspective. Um, you know, I, I didn't, the knowledge I have isn't from reading books, it's from swinging hammers, it's from sweating pipes, it's from running duct work and, and, and putting on roofing. So uh, I have a first-hand knowledge. Um, I know what to look for. I know what is and is not a problem and the significance of it, um, you know, from doing that stuff in the past. So a little bit about why somebody would want a home inspection. Number one, uh, for a real estate sale, if you're a buyer and... Um, uh, getting a home inspection gives you a much better understanding of the, the current condition of the home um, as the home inspector uh, inspects it. So, what you're getting into. Yeah, yeah. What, you'll, you'll have a better understanding. After a home inspection for a, for a real estate sale, um, you'll have a much better understanding of the current condition. Uh, you know, is there any structural or foundation issues? Uh, are you, you about to need a new roof? Um, Plumbing leaks, you know, uh, would you be needing a, a new water heater or HVAC system anytime soon? It gives you a much better understanding, makes you more educated about the house. Also, the home inspection report is used in, as a negotiation tool with the agent and uh, the agent and the and the, uh, the buyer uh, with the seller. Uh, another uh, something becoming more popular these days with home inspections is where um, a seller will uh, hire a home inspector to do an inspection on the house prior to the sale. Um, I think it's advantageous for the seller because now a buyer comes in and, and a lot of the things that may have been issues no longer are issues. Um, it's up to the seller if they want to share that information with the, uh, with the buyer as far as the report goes. But uh, some, of the, some of the problems can be taken care of prior to that. And then one other thing that's um, not as frequent, but I actually just had one uh, today, uh, uh, a, a customer call me today, and um, it's, it's just a single older lady, um, and she asked me for a home inspection, it has nothing to do with the buyer sale of a house, it's a maintenance issue. And she's found that in the past, if she hires a plumber to come in, he's gonna find things that may, necess you know, may not necessarily be wrong, but trying to sell her stuff that she may not need. Happens a lot. Yes, and, and, and that happens with um, not just, uh, as an example, plumber, but all the different trades. 
Yes. So she wants to have me come in and give her an understanding of the condition of the house and what should be addressed and what shouldn't be, and then she can hire people appropriately. So those are kind of the three areas. Uh, the most common, though, is, is the real estate sale. Extremely helpful. Very helpful. I think, it, um, I think it's very, very helpful for a, a potential buyer to have a home inspection done. It just gives them a much better understanding of the condition of the house. Uh, maybe some things that weren't seen will be uncovered during the home inspection. As for sellers or people that kind of want a better understanding of what their home's doing. Yeah, and, and, and that's these days becoming more popular is um, what, what's sometimes termed as a pre-inspection agreement. And, um, you know, it, it, it just makes the, those, those smaller issues um, or even, even larger ones, they're just known by the, by the seller so they can take care of those. And it just uh, makes the house, I think it aids in the sale of the house for the buyer. So It's very helpful on both sides. I, I think it is. Buyer just wants to make sure they know what they're getting into and there's no outstanding, serious, significant outstanding issues. Um, but, but the seller one is becoming more popular for sellers to do a pre-sale uh, pre inspection. It really saves everyone time. It can save time. Um, I think houses show better if, if somebody's been in there and, uh, and gets a lot of these, uh, some of these issues resolved, especially buyers that aren't, aren't familiar with construction. Um, you know, uh, a water leak isn't such a serious thing if it's a small water leak and it's taken care of. It's very common. Um, other water leaks could be much more significant. If mold. Mold, erosion, there's all kinds of things. But, um, you know, uh, somebody who's inexperienced with construction, as far as a buyer goes, they hear certain words and, uh, you know, they, they, think, they just see dollar signs happening. Yes. And a lot of these are very minor things uh, that don't cost a lot um, and, and, and are, 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 are fixed rather quickly. Right on, Keith. Well, thank you very much for your time and happy to hear that somebody so passionate about the industry is doing business. Well, thank you very much for the opportunity. I appreciate it. Right,